again everybody welcome back here we have the fourth video of in adapt uh physical limitations for the p of adapt how to adapt exercises to fit your needs as someone with a muscle disease or i feel like anyone can use this depending on your strength level and where you're at and what your goals are so that brings me to video topic number four physical limitations the p of adapt so the first thing you always want to do when you are looking at an exercise you want to recognize first okay i do have a physical limitation what is it what are they okay got that secondly what are your strengths that's very important to know. Everyone has strengths. Everyone has weaknesses. So what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? That will help you in determining what you can do, what you shouldn't do, what you should do, how hard you can push yourself. And it will just overall, it will definitely help. So there may be a ton of things that you can't do. But that's okay for everything that you can't do there maybe not for everything but f it doesn't matter what you can't do there are there's always something that you can do so the things that you can't do you don't start there don't aim like really high like i talked about before you may have this one really really big giant goal that you're trying to aim for but don't don't set it out of reach you you want to set your goals within reach so if you do have this huge goal that seems like oh my gosh i'm never gonna accomplish it like oh my goodness i'm so overwhelmed it's probably a little <laughs> too high of a goal right now which okay if you really want to get there perfect write it down but make sure you're setting smaller goals making and like making a plan for how you're going to get there. So if you want to start with that high goal, great. But set smaller goals too. Like work backwards from it with, okay, in order to do this, I need to do this. But in order to do that, I need to do this. And like so on and so forth until you're at your level of starting. So whenever you set a goal, it should be, or at least I feel like it should be something that you feel is accomplishable, but a little bit challenging. I'll just give you an example. Like for me, my goal is to be able to stand up from any chair, no matter the level or whatever it is, without using my hands to push myself up. So that's like my small goal. My big goal is to be able to get up off the floor without using my hands, to be able to like squat all the way down and come back up without using my hands to push myself up, to do lunges like all the way onto the floor, all the way up without using my hands, and yeah, run a mile someday without stopping. So those are some of my goals. Oh, and also riding a bike uphill, like getting all the way to the driveway, to the end of my driveway without having to get up off and walk and all the way back without having to stop and walk. Those are like my big goals. And then my smaller goals are working up to those things, doing a leg lift properly without any assistance, whether it be bands or another human or bungees or anything. So that's kind of what I mean there. Hopefully you're following along. Let's see, you wanna start smaller, be smart about it and work your way up like I just talked about. Okay, so someone not at my strength level, maybe maybe your goal is to take a sip of water. That's great. What muscles do you need to do that? Okay, you need your arms, you know that. You need to have like the motion to be able to go up. Well, what's something you can start with that's not, maybe start with an empty cup. See, can you do that? Once you get the empty cup, maybe put a little bit of water in it so it's a little bit heavier. And that's kind of what I mean. Maybe you can't even lift the cup up. That's that's okay. Try working on strengthening those muscles until you can. I know for a lot of us, we are told so long, oh, there's nothing we can do 
you're just gonna lose muscle there's no hope basically you'll never get stronger I know I've heard it I know I was diagnosed later that's what I was told like oh like pretty much oh there's no point the only reason you should exercise is so you don't lose what you already any more of what you have right now but you know what there is hope now there's treatments and there's constantly new ones and I feel like even before there were treatments they were probably wrong so yeah you do have to believe that you can get stronger so while you're exercising you do have to think about that mindset too okay so basically when you're thinking about adapt learning when you're thinking about adapting an exercise to you recognize those physical limitations what are your weaknesses what are your strengths set small goals and work your way up and go from there just a small recap so hopefully that helps join me soon for my next and final video of this series and adapting exercise to you. We'll talk about T for try and have a great day everyone, a great week. Be sure if you want to make sure you're seeing my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see when the next one comes out, definitely hit subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If there's anything that you're trying to learn how to adapt to you, like I said before, I have nothing to do with the health professional in any way. I just have um, SMA type 3 myself and most of the stuff I'm showing you guys, I just do for myself and hopefully it might help some of you out. If not, I'm sorry, I guess, but if it does, I'm very glad. And, and if there's anything you'd like me to try to help you with, I am more than happy to just leave a comment and let me know. Right? Until next time.